What kind of sauce would you like? What's up Hot Sauce fans? My name is Jeremy Blanchard and this is Hot Sauce Fan. Thank you for joining me tonight. I am going to try something different this time and I'm going to compare three different hot sauces. Um, all three of them, they're very wildly different hot sauces, but they all three have one thing in common and that is ghost pepper. Now I love ghost pepper, so I am going to uh, try these three different ghost peppers and see how they rate on the heat scale because some of these are saying that they're pretty spicy and uh, most of them rating a four out of five so uh, on the heat scale. The, this is the Bravado Spice Company. It's the uh, the blueberry, the ghost pepper and blueberry hot sauce and you know, I try. I've tried a, a couple of blueberry sauces prior to this one, and I, I'm just not a big fan of the blueberry for whatever reason. And the other one that I did was blackberry. I'm not. I don't know. They're they're, they're just not really that my kind of thing. Um, although that being said, um, I have had a little bit of the huckleberry from the Arthur Wayne's hot sauce. Um, but it's been probably a few weeks, maybe a month bef since I've tried it. So I don't re even remember what it tastes like. Um, and then the, um, the spicy shark, um, ghost pepper, tiger shark ghost pepper, uh, from the spicy shark. Um, I have had one of their, their, the original, uh, spicy shark, and that was pretty good. Uh, the Arthur Wayne hot sauce, this is Huckleberry Ghost, and it's also got ghost pepper in it, the Boot Jalokia. And it's a unique blend of Boot Jalokia, ghost pepper, and wild Montana Huckleberry. Um, it says it's a 8 out of 10 heat, so we will see. I, I, mainly I'm comparing the heat between these three. I know they're very odd um, combinations, but I thought... You know why not? Why not try these to see how these three stack up in heat wise? Um, and I, you know, each one is probably going to be dependent on how much uh, ghost pepper they actually put in it. So uh, I thought it'd be fun to test these three out. And if you're a big ghost pepper fan, you might be like, oh. You know, I love blueberry. I, I got to try the ghost pepper, or I love huckleberry. I, I honestly can't say that I've ever had huckleberry except for the little taste that I had uh, a little while back. From what I remember, I thought it tasted pretty good. And then uh, I've already mentioned this, but oh, oh, the ingredients in this are um, white vinegar, huckleberry water, uh, ghost pepper, pineapple, salt, natural sugar, and xanthan gum thickener. And then um, the spicy shark has, a, this is very, very uh, unique range of ingredients on the spicy shark. It's got onion, bell peppers, apple cider vinegar, pineapple juice, pineapple, mango, banana, habanero pepper, orange juice, ghost pepper, sugar, lime juice, lime, garlic, cilantro, ginger, fruit, pectin, Dijon mustard, salt, celery salt, tarragon and thyme. That's a lot of ingredients, but very unique. Uh, they're out of Portsmouth, New Hampshire. They're out of Montana. Uh, they're, he's at ArthurWayneHotSauce.com. I know I'm kind of all over the place with this. Burfato Spice Company is out of Houston, Texas. Um, you can follow them at team, uh, hashtag Team Bravado. Uh, they're on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. All right, so I'm going to do um, the Huckleberry first since it's open already. And then we'll move on to the Bravado Spice Company. And then we'll move on to the Tiger Shark uh, Ghost Pepper from the Spicy Shark. All right, so this is Arthur Wayne Hot Sauce. I've done a few uh, reviews of his sauces um, previously. Um, you can, at the end of this video... I'm going to leave a playlist of the three different sauces I've tried from him so far. 
and give this a good shake. Um, the consistency is fairly runny, uh, but look at the, I don't know if you can see that, but it, it has flex in it like you would not believe. It's just really chunky um, and looks pretty good. Um, they're on, I know he's on Instagram and he's on Facebook. I, I'm pretty sure he's on Twitter too. Let's give her a shake. And of course there's no pop because it's already been open. Whew. Yeah, that, that hits the, the nose right there, uh, with that spice. This comes out really, really easy. Probably be good for a restrictor, a flow restrictor. It smells sweet right out the bat. <coughs> it's got quite the kick and went right to the back of my throat and made my made me cough. The heat for me does not feel like an 8 out of 10. Maybe it's an 8 out of 10 for a non-chili head. Somebody who doesn't eat hot stuff all the time. Yeah, it's, it's resurging. I can feel it. It's starting to burn my tongue, the back of my throat. Okay, so the heat on this for me, between zero and two, I'm going to say it's probably a 0.75. It's not really too hot for me. Um, it's kind of, the, kind of the right amount of heat in my opinion. I do like the flavor, but I don't really see um, a use. I'm not, you know, it's going to be one of these one-off kind of um, sauces when I put it on something every once in a while. It's not going to be an everyday sauce for me, but just simply because I'm not big into the the fruit, the um, the ex I don't know how to how to explain it. Um, not having a huckleberry before, it's not something, I, I can't even imagine what I would put it on. Um, maybe pan, maybe mixed pancakes. Um, it's, it's definitely sort of a breakfasty type um, sauce. Um, the heat is 0.75, the uh, consistency. I, I love the fact that it has a bunch of chunks in it and it's, it's, not, it's, it's not just water. It's very, very runny. The label is uh, his logo, and in the background, I assume that those are huckleberries. I've, I've never actually seen a huckleberry in real life, so I, I, it kind of looks like a cranberry to me. Um, he says, if it's not hot, if, it, if it's not hot, it's not right. Arthur Wayne Hot Sauce brings you the berry sauce you've been waiting for. Wild Montana Huckleberry meets one of the world's hottest or the hottest peppers in the world, blended and well balanced, so we can bring sweet and heat without compromising flavor. Our sauce will not burn your face off, but it will bring the right amount of heat. I, I totally agree with that. It brought the right amount of heat for this particular sauce. Um, of course, me being chili head, I love hotter. The hotter, the better. <clears throat> um, it's manufactured by Arthur Wayne Hot Sauce in Missoula, Montana, and uh, ArthurWayneHotSauce.com. Uh, eight out of ten heat. Would I buy it again? I mean, if I if I find uh, you know maybe you could let me know in the description or I mean in the description in the comments. Let me know in the comments uh, what you would use this on, because I'm having trouble figuring out what I would actually put them on. Um, it's pretty runny, so it might soak up the pancakes a little too much. Maybe I'd put it on waffles or something to, so that it didn't soak into it um, as bad. Um, maybe a breakfast burrito. Let's see, we did flavor. No, we didn't do flavor. The flavor is pretty good. Uh, I, I don't mind the huckleberry, actually. Um, and the ghost pepper blend with the, the huckleberry makes it um, a unique flavor and I actually would give this between zero and two I would probably give this uh, one and a half it's pretty good let's see label I forgot to do the label um, so between zero and two I'd probably give it a, a middle of the road one 
thickness. Ingredients, uh, vinegar, huckleberry, water, ghost pepper, pineapple, salt, natural sugar, and xanthan gum. Wait a minute, it says salt there. But it doesn't, it's not listed on the nutrition facts. Interesting. Maybe a missed uh, typo. I don't really have any issues. I know xanthan gum is a pretty common thing to put in your hot sauce. And so the ingredients between zero and two, I'm probably going to give that a one and a half. And overall, the blend of the different ingredients are awesome. So <clears throat> that's why I'm not giving it too hard, hit of, hard of a hit. The next one up is ghost pepper and blueberry. And let's see how hot that... I didn't get too much. I mean, the, the heat's pretty much gone at this point. Uh, it's... Yeah, it's um, right on point with this particular sauce. And I know it's not probably not too fair to compare the sauces, but they all say ghost pepper and they all have fairly high um, heat level um, pasted on it. So at the bottom of the, this label, which I'll show you, um, you know, over here, uh, is, or over here, I'm not sure which, one of the two. Um, they have four out of five. This one says four out of five, and this one says eight out of ten. So they're all pretty comparable as far as um, what they say on the label. Uh, so this is ghost pepper and blueberry by Bravado Spice Company. And you, you can get it at bravadospice.com. And I believe I got this out of a Heatnest subscription box. No, no, no. I'm sorry. My sister, shout out to my sister, Megan, uh, she got me three sauces, the the ghost, pep, ghost pepper and blueberry, the akamiso, and the, um, the crimson special reserve. So this one looks really good. Uh, this one is really good. Uh, this one is extreme. <laughs> extremely hot um it's one of the hotter sauces uh it even says extremely spicy on it and um this is kicking i'm going to do a review of this one another time okay so i don't want to use a knife but um i don't feel like trying to dig at it so i'm going to be very careful Okay, this one's pretty watery, and I assume it's because they didn't put any xanthan gum in it. So I know that these three aren't like extremely comparable because they're not the same sauces. They're not like all blueberry or whatever, but I'm, I'm reviewing them on their heat level. So huckleberry versus blueberry versus um, tiger sharks, tiger ghost pepper. Spicy shark, I'm sorry, spicy sharks, tiger ghost pepper tiger shark ghost pepper so they all have like similar heat ranges lit posted on the label and i thought it'd be kind of fun to do a versus on all three of these to see which one had an actual spiciness to it this one uh, i think i put a 0.75 on the heat level it's not extremely hot for me um, I think if I was just starting out and I'm not used to eating hot sauces, this would be pretty spicy. Sort of a medium medium or medium hot medium. So we're going to get into the uh, ghost pepper and blueberry from Bravado Spice Company. You can find them at bravadospice.com. They, they make it out of uh, manufactured for Bravado Spice LLC uh, in Houston, Texas. And this one again has, this one is very, very runny and you can just see that it's like pretty much just a liquid. Uh, it's very blueberry-ish color, um, bright purple. And uh, it says it's a four out of five out of, on the heat scale. It's gluten-free, 100% vegan, blueberry, white wine, vinegar, uh, ghost pepper, sea salt, and black pepper. So this should be very, they're very basic ingredients. So I'm, I'm looking looking forward to it. Like I said, I'm not a big blueberry fan. I do eat blueberries, but 
I, I very rarely ever eat them and, and uh, it's not that I don't like them, it's just that I, it's not something that I eat a lot of. It says, dive into the deep and fiery ghost peppers, cracked black pepper and delicious blueberries. It's time to step up your hot sauce game. One of these days I'm just going to break out into a Paw Patrol character, like my favorite character on Paw Patrol. What's the bad guy's name? I forget his name. He's my favorite character and I forgot his name. Humdinger. Well, kiddies, let's try some of this hot sauce. Can you tell that I have a, a four-year-old? All right, let's break this open. I'm expecting a pop. Yes! It's been a while since I've heard that. All these different challenges and stuff has really sidestriped me. Sidestriped me. Um, sideswiped me? Never mind. <laughs> okay. It smells like blueberry, and I can smell the the heat in it. Maybe this one will be hot. Ooh, there's like little chunks of blueberry in there. It looks really good. Uh, this one again. This one would could use a flow restrictor. I hate flow restrictors, but when they're this runny, I want a flow restrictor so that I don't spill it everywhere. Bottoms up. Gotta get another one because the heat's there. I can definitely taste the ghost pepper. Interesting. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the blueberry. It's it's. I don't think it's their sauce. I just for whatever reason I'm just not. It's not hitting my tongue the right way. It's kind of sour. Um, a sour flavor to it and I think that's because there's literally no sugar in it <laughs> so you know maybe I'll um, give it to Arthur Wayne because um, the the flavor of the huckleberry along with the sugar the the blend of sugar and huckleberry um, makes it a little more palatable and this is just straight up Blueberry, white wine vinegar, ghost pepper, sea salt, and black pepper. So if you want something that has no sugar and you don't like sugary things, this is going to be for you. The heat is the same. Um, about the same for me, maybe even less. But I'm going to give it about 0.75 for the heat. Just this, uh, I think that's what I gave this uh, Arthur Wayne's. Um, it's not super hot for me. Now, if I drank the whole bottle, obviously, it would probably be, it would scorch me. And I could probably do that pretty easy. I'm not going to because I don't want to wreck myself um, before I check myself. But um, it's, it's fairly, fairly running. Now, that being said, there are pretty big chunks in here. So it's not like it's not a quality hot sauce. The uh, label, I love the label. It's very streamlined, very clean, nice, and, and tells you with the purple that it's that there's something going on with the, the particular ingredients in it. Um, it tells me that it's a blueberry, basically. Um, the the Bravado Spice logo is very um, simple, and it tells you exactly what you're looking at. Uh, definitely some sort of pepper. I, I just don't assume that it's an actual ghost pepper because um, I don't think they'd probably be that specific and not all their stuff is ghost pepper so I love the ingredients the ingredients it's one two three four five ingredients that's it that's all there is now they could have done some I think Arthur Wayne is when he does his hot sauce you know I think he preps like he perfects the, the the sauce to a point of like it being in the works for like one to two years before he even put, puts out a hot sauce. 
Uh, I think I remember him telling me that. So, you know, this is a really excellent blend, and I'm sure for Huckleberry lovers, you're going to love this. I'm, I'm definitely sure of that. And, you know, it does have sugar in it, but if it didn't, I am pretty sure that it's not going, it's going to be as bland as this. The ingredients I'm going to give it zero to zero to two. I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a 1.75 only because I think that they could have blended it just a bit better to make it a little less sour. Um, if you like sour sauce, and I mean, I, this is my opinion. So if you like sour sauce, you know, go for it. It's, it's not a bad sauce. It's just not something that I'd probably use too much. The label, I did the label, the consistency is watery. So I don't mind it. I love that there's chunks in it. You can see the chunks in there and the flex. Um, between zero and two, I'm going to give it a one and a half only because I feel like it, it's too watery and it didn't come with a flow restrictor. So, you know, I've got it all over my table here. Yeah, I'm going to give the label one and a half. The heat, again, 0.75. All right, moving on to the Spicy Shark Tiger Shark ghost pepper this one's been sitting a while and it's unopened I love the label though and I'll get to that in a minute shake her up how you guys doing let me know in the comments which have you tried these three like which one's your favorite uh, do you find ghost pepper spicy or hot to you now that you know, I haven't had the, the actual pod, so anybody out there that has pods that wants to share, send, send me some, and I'm, I'm happy to do it on camera. All right, let's get to the spicy shark. This one's a thicker sauce than these other two. Tiger shark ghost pepper. It says, eat the heat, savor the flavor. The tiger shark is known for its diverse diet and distinguished markings. It's fruit for hot sauce stripes, but this fruit forward hot sauce stripes mango, hot sauce stripes mango, pineapple and banana sweet with habanero and ghost pepper heat. Goes great with poultry, pork, fish, and any dish in need of flavor and heat. That's the kind of label that I really enjoy because it tells me exactly what it goes well with. And when I'm looking for something, I can't always remember what every single hot sauce is going to go well with unless I really enjoy it. This one tells you exactly what you could use it on. So that's awesome. Uh, vegan gluten-free ingredients made in the USA. Uh, they're out of Portsmouth, New Hampshire. And it says, eat the heat. There's a wide range of ingredients on here and it says it's four out of five hot so we'll see nothing so far that i've done here is is has been very hot it's certainly not four out of five for me or eight out of ten but i am a chili head so i eat a lot of hot sauce Ooh! oh my god that smells so good oh that is the mark right there. Mango, pineapple, and banana, sweet with habanero and ghost pepper heat. Yes. I actually wasn't expecting this to be to smell so good. Um, the color, let's do the consistency real quick. The consistency is, um, you know, it's a medium thickness. It's not super chunky or, I mean, there is flex in there. There's quite a bit of flex in there more more chunky than normal no flow restrictor it's got a um a wide mouth on it which is pretty neat um so you can just drizzle it all over your salad or something it's kind of a nice golden color in the bottle it looks a little muddy it, you know which is kind of actually a little off-putting um i i didn't try this one because yet because the color looks a little kind of Eh, you know, a little strange. Um, I assume it's the banana and the mango and the pineapple. <laughs> All three of those things probably would make that color. Boy, it smells good, though. Sweet. 
sweet right off the bat. It's definitely fruit forward. There's an ingredient in here that I cannot place. It's almost a smoky flavor. I don't I don't know what that is, but mango. I'm not I don't know if I'm getting too much mango. The heat, I think it's even less than the other ones. Uh 0.5. I, I get the banana. There's something in here that's a very extremely unique flavor that I cannot place. Somebody tell me what it is because I, I, I'm i not sure what that flavor is. It's pretty good and I can definitely see it going on pork or fish or taco, um, you know, tacos or any kind of dish that would have chicken, pork or fish. Yeah, the heat, it, it's just, the heat's not there. I don't know if it's because I've had two others this, of the same and it's just starting to wear down my palate. Um, that's pretty good. I'm going to say uh, the label. I'm going to start with the label. The label, I like the label. It's pretty good. The uh, It's got a shark with flames on it and coming out the mouth and uh, it's all very clear and easy to read. I'm not having to you know, like do this kind of adjusting. As I'm getting older, it's hard for me to read small print. Um, the flavor is extremely unique. Uh, nothing like I've ever tasted in a hot sauce before. It's just, it's really good. I, I could see myself buying this again. Um, the heat, heat level, I'm going to say it's a 0.5 for me. I just, these were hotter. This one probably, these were very comparable. Um, and this one is even less heat. I, I can feel the heat, but it's not, it's not as pungent as these two are. I would say in heat, terms of heat, this one, then this one, then this one. Uh, but if you're not looking for extreme heat, that's fine. You know, like not not every sauce has to be extremely hot. And I love ghost pepper, so I'm you know all three of these are really good. In in the uh, the balance of the heat versus the 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 actual sauce. Um. So the label, I'm gonna between zero and two, I'm gonna give it a two because they tell you what it goes with. And they they um, sort of brand it with the uh, mango, pineapple, banana, sweet, habanero, ghost pepper. They tell you right off the bat what it, what's, what's going on. The ingredients are extremely unique. Um, I know I've said that already and I'm sorry for saying that, but it, there's no other way to describe it. Like it's just, it's all quality ingredients, no sugar in it except for the, the, the ingredients. And I love when companies do that because they're using the natural sweetness of the, of whatever it is they're using. Um, now that being said, there's a place and time for having sugar in a, a sauce like this one could have used a little bit of sweetness, maybe, maybe blend it with, um, another fruit or a sweeter blueberry. Um, maybe I didn't shake it up well enough. I don't know, but it just, it hit me flat. This one did not hit flat. It came out fruit forward, like it says on the bottle. And, um, the only misgiving I think that this is, is that the, the, I think it should have been like probably two or three fins. It's got a fin rating. It's uh, one to five. And it sh right now they have it a four. I say it's probably between a two and a three, a four, maybe for a non chili head. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's not well. And I'm also only using a small spoon. So there's that too. Um, I could just drink it, you know, like, like just take a chug of it and, uh, get the real heat, I guess. It's a little hotter. Yeah, 
didn't do anything. <clears throat> this is really good. I, I'm definitely going to, when I run out of this stuff, I'm definitely going to get to get another bottle of this. Um, again, I'm not comparing these three um, for, I'm only comparing them by the heat, by the ghost pepper aspect of the, the sauces, because I know these are, these are probably the closest two together, but you know, overall, they're all three on their own, pretty good sauces. Maybe I'm going to take a swig of it. It's kind of sour. It's similar sour to this, but it's got a touch of sweetness in it. A little more heat. Yeah, the huckleberry's not bad. It's just, it's not my thing. Uh, and I'm not trying to downplay it because I'm sure that if you're a huckleberry lover, that was that was actually a lot hotter with a swig. Woo. Um, this one didn't do much for me. This one probably... Maybe went to a one and a half. Well, 1.25. 1.25 with a swig of it um it's a lot hotter than uh than the spoonful my lips are burning <clears throat> probably gonna need to take uh drink some milk or something after this because my i can feel my insides burning So my, cam my camera shut off again. Um, I hit the 30 minute mark. Anyway, uh, so I just took a swig of this and I do not like the flavor of this at all. <laughs> I just, I, after taking a swig of it, I was like, oh man, it's, it's too bitter, too sour for me. Um, I think the winner of the heat contest, <laughs> Arthur Wayne's Huckleberry versus the Bravado Spice Blueberry versus the Tiger Shark Ghost Pepper Spicy Shark. This is the winner of the heat. This is the winner of the flavor. It's just my opinion, so don't kill me. I, I'm i sure there are a lot of people out there that love this stuff and, and really um, enjoy the blueberry. I It's not for me. Out of all three sauces... Uh, this is my favorite. This is the hottest. This one is hot, but it's not as hot as this. So it goes this, 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 and this one's the most sour. This one's has just a touch of sweetness in it, and it's really hot. And this one, uh, I love the flavor of this. This is really, really good. But I'm not comparing the different hot sauces. I just wanted to give a review on each one just to let you know what my thoughts were about them. Uh, but the heat levels is what I was really comparing. And this one wins as far as heat goes. The little spoon that I have uh, did not really do justice in how hot these are. So that's why I took a swig of each one. All right, so that's all I've got for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And, um, you know, it, it helps me, helps uh, motivate me to, to keep continue doing more of this. And I, I mean, I'll always do this, but I love this stuff. And I love the community. I love you guys. And uh, I thought it would be fun just to do a versus video of, of these three different sauces. And, uh, yeah. So... Thank you for very much for joining me and go get your sauce on. What kind of sauce would you like? <laughs>